All right, this is a bridge of a Mustang guitar. Yes, there are some other incarnations of this model, but this is a classic one. And like many of the classics, it doesn't come without its flaws. And now I'm not gonna pass the stability of the system or the odd locks of the cigar to wander. In fact, I think it's one of Fender's most interesting bridge designs. It manages to adapt the Jaguar slash Jazz Master philosophy into the much smaller footprint this model calls for while still retaining some of the interesting, you know, harmonics right here because of the extra length of string you have behind the bridge. And it's, when it's set up correctly, it's almost as stable as its older siblings. And yes, you heard me right, I did refer to offset bridges as stable. Go fuck yourselves, Jaguar bridges are the shit, and these Mustang ones aren't too far behind either. Seriously, you can die bomb with this motherfucker. Like... <laughs> and it'll keep tuning pretty well. So, about this flaw I mentioned before, the arm on this thing. Anyone who's ever owned a Mustang with this vibrato system has probably had some issues with this thing, and understandably so. The thing is, you just, you know, you stick the thing into the thing, you twist the twisty thing over here and just pray for the best. So after a while, one of three scenarios will come to take place. Number one, you'll play for about 10 minutes until the twisted thing here, you know, the, the, this one here, comes loose and yeah, the arm falls off, gets kicked by somebody in the crowd, never to be found again. Number two, you are wise enough to foresee this scenario happening, so what do you do? You turn this twisted thing and you tighten it like a fucking champ. Hold on a second. <laughs> I should have tightened it a bit more earlier. It doesn't make no sense and I'm wasting your time and I'm also wasting mine. God damn it, come on. Speed up this thing probably. Ah, fuck. It wasn't, there you go. So like I said, you're wise enough to foresee this issue from happening so you tighten it like a champ and then you realize it's annoying as shit to have this thing all tight, you know, this metal thing on the way all the time, and the only way to move it out is to, you know, just apply too much force, which makes tuning wobble, listen, you know, and it's gonna just fuck with the tuning if you dare look at it funny, so after a few minutes you just get tired of it and you get rid of the thing altogether. So, number three, you were never hugged as a child, so you try to show this inanimate object who is boss, and you plow ahead through it until, you see, it became a bit looser. Well, that's because he grooved the ballops, you know, and then you realize it's actually kind of good, because it keeps it from coming out. It now has a groove that keeps it in place, and, you know, just a few grooves will develop, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Hold on, see now it's loose again, but take a little bit of a second, you see, there it is, focus, god damn it, that's groups, that's me trying to show this dead thing that I am better and smarter, and that's what happened, but these groups, they're great, because the screw is gonna just hold tight there, and it's gonna avoid it from coming out, so that's a good thing. Stop there. So, how you fix this thing? Strut arm springs. These little guys here are what lies underneath that mysterious sticker on the, you know, the hole in the bridge of some strat. You're supposed to stick it into the hole, like right here, you know, and once you've screwed it down enough, it's gonna start bottoming out on the spring itself. So that's gonna create some friction and it's gonna, you know, keep the thing from, you know, swinging around freely. Now, this same principle can be applied to a Mustang. All you gotta do is unscrew the twisted thing. This is gonna take a minute. I might speed it up. I might come up with some clever comments or jokes in the time being, or none of the above. You might just see me battling with an Allen wrench, like a dumbass. Let's see if we can, yeah, there you go. So, <clears throat> You take out the twisty, screwy thing that goes in there. All right, let's keep that aside for a second. And I've already pre-cut one of these. You know, that's a smaller one. It would be wonderfully focused, but there you go. It's a smaller one. So you cut it because it's not gonna fit in there. And you make sure the first part that you stick in is the part that you cut because this one's got, you know, a bit of an edge. 
You stick the thing that's gonna go into one of the grooves. It's gonna help it from, you know, sliding out. Oh boy. What am I trying to do? Stick it in there? Oh boy. That's some melton in the brain. So you stick the thing in, pointing, you know, the, the, the sharp end, pointing to one of the grooves, and you start just sending the thing in. And it's not gonna go all the way in, but you gotta make sure you cut it to about two, two and a half loops so that it can fit in. And you twist it just a little bit so that it won't come out. It will swing without fucking with the tuning, which I'm gonna show you now. See? You see? You can move it around. It doesn't fuck with the tuning. It doesn't swing freely. And it won't come out. And that's it. It's done. That's how you fix this bridge. Now it's not gonna make all that stupid rock as it was doing earlier where you play, you know? It doesn't do that anymore because it's just there and you could move it out of the way. Now, while we're at it, I got an album out. I gotta plug it somehow. So, uh, not to be true to my own dick, but people say it's awesome. So here's somewhere around here, it's gonna be a playlist and there's also gonna be, gonna be a single somewhere around there in case you don't feel like taking the whole 45 minute ride. There's also a link in the description so that it'll take you straight to Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Deezer, or whatever the fuck you listen things, the things. Holy shit, gotta stop talking. So make sure to check it out, kick some trash cans to it or something, and I don't know, have a good time. And that's it, that's how you fix a Mustang.